the U.S. House passed climate change legislation last summer, but the Senate has been stalled on the issue for months. Several bills have been filed in the Senate, and just last Wednesday, President Obama expressed his strong support for bipartisan efforts to create clean energy incentives in order to create jobs and reduce dependence on foreign oil. We are here today as clean energy patriots to call for leadership and action from the Senate every day between here and Earth Day. The Senate has 40 days to demonstrate to the American people their patriotism by making progress on a comprehensive energy bill. Well, we're out here celebrating the 40th anniversary of Earth Day, and today marks the 40-day countdown to that 40th anniversary. We're out here to celebrate all the victories that we've had for protecting public health and environmental health over those 40 years, from the establishment of the Environmental Protection Agency to the Clean Air Act and many others. We're looking forward to our next big victory, and that's going to be passing strong climate and energy legislation this year. We're out here right now to encourage our Senators Blanche Lincoln and Mark Fryer to get on board and, with a bipartisan effort this year to make the climate bill happen. We want Senator Lincoln to help take the lead in passing comprehensive energy and climate legislation that will not only do things to clean up our environment, the air we breathe, breathe that will also create jobs here in Arkansas and in the nation and it will also help to decrease our dependence on foreign oil. So it's a national security and an economic and an environmental issue. Well, Senator Lincoln has done things in the past that um, encourage us that, that she will again take this issue uh, seriously. And uh, what our hope is is that we will be able to encourage her to be a part of the, uh, the uh, negotiations between Senators Lincoln, Kerry, and uh, Lindsey Graham of South Carolina and be a part of the solution in the Senate to help us get this legislation passed. So uh, she's done things like uh, sponsor the Lisa Murkowski Amendment that we think is absolutely the wrong policy. Um, gutting the, the uh, Clean Air Act is not the way to go. Uh, however, I think there's room here for her to be a part of the solution.